Earlier this week, Bishop David Ricken visited Sacred Heart Catholic School in Shano to provide a first-year update on the implementation of the Strategic and Mission Plan for Catholic Schools in the Diocese of Green Bay. And it's with great joy that we share today that big progress has been made and is being made. Just in one year, there are lots of signs that it is working. It is working. It is working. Isn't that beautiful? So kids, why don't you repeat after me? The mission is working. The mission is working. Beautiful. Presenting alongside Bishop Ricken were members of the Families and Schools of Discipleship Mission Team and Office of Catholic Schools. We see our principals, our faculty, excited about the mission. And as their excitement grows, it grows among the students. That's transferable into the parish. It just keeps growing. And so what's happening in Catholic schools is, again, a microcosm of what can happen in a broader church. Mission team members shared updates in the following five key focus areas. Our students, our staff, our education, our operations, and our funding. It is hoped that with work in these areas, Catholic schools will see continued growth. Above and beyond the business of the day was the opportunity for teachers and students simply to be with their bishop and to listen to him share the growth happening in Catholic schools. Today we are honored to have a very special guest. The beginning of January, Miss Young asked me if um, I would introduce and I said yes. He may not be Pope Francis, but he is still someone very important. It's fun. I really enjoy him being around our school. I think he's nice, he's kind, um, he's funny, obviously. Um, I just like being around it. I think it's good. It's important for Sydney to have Jesus in her life every day, and being a part of Sacred Heart, that helps with that. We work hard at being disciples um, at school, in our community, and at church. You can tell they've been taking the journey of discipleship. They're getting excited about their faith, about the, the spirit of the community among the kids is just terrific. That's a compliment to the principal and to the teachers and to the staff because they're building that community spirit and that community spirit will help people to be nurtured, loved, taken care of, given really good education and formation to make a difference in our world. We had good news to share today, enrollment across the diocese, 54 schools up 2% this year and there's more coming just for next year. So. There are a lot of signs of hope, and this is something I've been longing for for a long, long time, that we can start to see people embracing the church once again. I know how much we appreciate you helping us to travel that path of discipleship. For The Compass, this is Matthew Livingstone reporting. <laughs>